Good day my friends, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about physical and chemical properties of matter. Matter have physical and chemical properties. Physical property is any characteristic that can be determined without changing the substance's chemical identity. While chemical property it is determined only by changing a substance's molecular structure. We will go into details on both properties but first we will talk about the physical properties. Physical properties are divided into two smaller parts. These are intensive property and extensive property. Intensive property is a characteristic of matter that does not depend on the amount of the substance while extensive property is dependent on the amount of matter being measured. Intensive property includes color, density, boiling point, and melting point. Now let us take water as an example. A 10 kg of water in the pail is color blue. If we add another 5 kg of water, the water is still color blue. Even the density of the 10 kg of water is the same as the density of 15 kg of water. In addition, the boiling and melting point of the 10 kg of water is the same as the 15 kg of water. In other words, intensive properties are those properties that does not change even if the amount of the substance is small or large. While well, extensive property, on the other hand, includes mass and volume. For example, if a 5 kg of water is added to the 10 kg of water in the pail, it will result to 15 kg of water. Hence, the mass of water changes so as its volume becomes larger. For chemical property, a change in the substance's chemical structure is observed. This includes the heat of combustion which is the energy released when a compound undergoes burning with oxygen and flammability which refers to whether a compound will burn when exposed to a flame. A substance can also undergo physical or chemical change. For example, ice. When the ice is exposed in the room temperature, it will become liquid, but when you put it again in the freezer, it will go back as ice. This is an example of physical change. In simple terms, it is just a change in physical state, and it can go back to its original state. When you are burning wood for you to cook, then the wood turns into ashes, but you cannot turn ashes into wood. This is an example of chemical change. In simple terms, there is a change in atomic structure and cannot go back to its original structure. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.